In today's video, we'll be learning how to make the knot and loop fishtail bracelet with a clean finish. Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. So got another tutorial for you today. Haven't done the fishtail in a while. So just a bit of a disclaimer before I start this video. Originally, I wanted to do this fishtail as a slightly different uh, fishtail, not just a, a regular plain old fishtail. I wanted to do a stitched um, version of this, but it just didn't work out the pattern I was trying to do. So rather than toss away the footage, uh, we're just doing a uh, knot and loop fishtail with a clean finish. And yeah, that's what we're doing today. Got a nice little micro cord accent on the um, end here. And I think that looks just really great. Really helps those two colors pop. So this method I learned from uh, my Croatian friends over at C by S Paracord and more creations by S Paracord and more. Great channel, go check them out. I'll have them linked down below. And uh, yeah, this is the knot and loop fishtail, the clean finish. The original uh, knot and loop uh, fishtail I did before had two snake knots and closing it. This one doesn't have that, so it's an even neater finish. So I hope you guys will like this one. So remember, if you're looking for paracord and all that good stuff I use in the video, check out those uh, affiliate links down below. And also, again, a huge thank you to my Patreon patrons. You guys are helping me out so much by supporting me there. If you want access to exclusive tutorials and giveaways, feel free to check out my Patreon page. All right, so that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to start off this bracelet, I've got my uh, core strand here, I'm using gray, and my main weaving color is red, and for the barbed wire accent, we're doing uh, gray as well. So I'll set those aside for now, and all we're gonna do first is tie a diamond knot. That's gonna be, uh, because we're doing knot and loop. So let's do that real quick. Uh, I'm gonna take the midpoint here, and I'm just going to feed them through my fingers. We're gonna make a loop on the right side, like so. Put that on top of the strand on the left. And then from here, we're going to take this strand down here, bring it behind the strand on the right, go over, under, and over, and form your Carex bend. And then from here, you're going to take this strand, you're going to make it go past this strand up top and then go through the middle like so. And then for the bottom, take this strand, go past this one and bring it through the middle. Okay. So if that was too quick, you can always check my um, dedicated tutorial for the diamond knot. It's linked down below. So we're going to tie this, cinch up this diamond knot. You don't have to tie it too tightly. Um, just get it to about the appropriate length and we'll fully tighten it later when we can uh, finalize our size, okay? So I've got that and now I'm going to put this on my jig and we're going to start tying the fishtail. Okay, I've got my core strand on my jig here, as you can see. So I'm going to set that guy down right there. And now to start tying this fishtail, we're going to take the midpoint of our working strand right here. You're going to put it behind your core and up top is going to be the loop. So we're going to take the right strand, put it over and then under, and bring it to the right, left side. And then on the opposite side now you're going to go over and under like so. Okay, and then from here, you're just going to repeat that process. So it's just a slightly different way of tying fishtail, but equally as simple. And up top, this is going to be your uh, loop. So make sure you leave, you know, about three quarters of an inch or so. So now we're going to go back to the right side, go over and under, like so. And then left side, over and under like that okay so super simple way of tying the fishtail let's do a couple more over and under over and under okay so we're going to continue this uh, process and go all the way down 
your core like so and then when we get to the bottom we'll show you how to um, end that one off and then we can add the barbed wire accent after so just continue tying and go all the way down your core okay so I've come down to the end of my bracelet so to lock off these um, end strands here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna take your right strand you're gonna feed it through here like so okay and then now before fully tightening it we're gonna take that same end and go back through and go over top that same strand okay and then pull it shut pull it tight and there you go that strand is locked off and then we're gonna do the same thing on this side and go through here like so and then before you close it off go over top of it again like so bring it back out to the other side okay so pull that closed and there we go this is a great way of finishing the bracelet learn this little trick from my buddies over at uh, C by S paracord go check them out so that's locked off and um, you can clip the excess now um, actually I'm just gonna leave this here just in case we're gonna take this off the jig and we're going to start incorporating our micro cord I snipped and singed off that excess paracord there and this next part is optional I just thought it'd be nice to add a little micro cord tab accent instead of just uh, snipping and singeing there so I'm going to take my piece of micro cord and I'm just going to tie some simple Solomon knots over the last two strands like so so pull that in there of course we do that well, I just kind of glazed over that but um, yeah take the strand across the core right on top of that and then bring it through the other side same usual um, Solomon knots it's always a little hard to show with micro cord okay so I'm just gonna tie a bunch more of these Solomon knots I'm gonna create about like a like a one inch tab and then I'm going to snip and singe after that okay so also I like to push up a bit and get those uh, Solomon knots really close to each other just because it looks better and yeah so let's just do that like so okay I'm gonna tie a few more knots and then I'm gonna snip and singe it right about there okay and there we have it guys we are finished so got that little tab done and I think that's a nice little accent and there's the singed end on the back and this one came out pretty nice so just a different method of doing the knot and loop fishtail and I hope you guys enjoyed this video so if you guys like this video feel free to hit that like button and if you're not already and you want to see more content like this feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications as well so you know when I release videos all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next tutorial video. And that's it for me.